how to send large files through your email. So these files could be movie files, which are going to be particularly large, high-res photos, PDFs, and documents. So we're going to show how you can send it through emails, but in the method I'm going to show you, it's not going to block your outbox, your sent items, and the person's inbox the other end. So this particular photo here is, you can see this, so this is 20%, so the whole image, if it was zoomed in, high resolution photo, the type of thing you would send to your website designer or a printer. So on these photos, if I needed you to select and send these, these 34 items comes to 68 meg. So even if I wanted to send half of them, that's 43 meg. The average email receiving can be generally a maximum of 15 to 25 meg, depending who the other end, the person you're sending it to, to their service supplier and how they operate. So generally 15 to 25 meg. And if you sent those, if they're on a slow data plan and stuff like that, they would have to wait ages for them. So a couple of things we could do, we could take these, this is 43.7, I could zip them down. So this is using zip, so I can choose, I'm going to choose to do a zip. I'm going to archive them. This will create a zip file of compression. I've got videos on the channel to show you how to do them. Give that a second. So our starting was 43 and we end up with 42.7. Not a big savings. So zipping and then emailing, not going to be a big savings. It'll Tight, it'll wrap all the photos into one, which is good. Your other options, I will show you the, the best option, but your other options, it's probably best to cover these, is if you've got Google Drive, you could upload your photos to there and send the person a link in the email. So rather than sending the photos, upload into a Google Drive or you've got OneDrive. And again, Google Drive, OneDrive, they're free. If you've got accounts with Microsoft or Google, Dropbox is another alternative where you could upload, so you could zip them down or you could leave them in individually, upload them to these cloud storage and then share that link to somebody. I'm going to cover an alternative and these are things like Mail My Big File and WeTransfer. I'm going to focus on WeTransfer and the way that works, there is a free tier to all of these, so My Big File and WeTransfer. I have an account with, I have an account with both I think, but I have an active account with WeTransfer. So what you do is log in or sign, in, sign up. You're going to then choose, so if I bring these in, I'm going to drag these across and let me move that off the screen. I'm going to now drag these in, I'm dragging them in I drop them. I don't have to zip them down. Years ago on the previous version you did, if you just drag them across, it will create a, um, a single link for the other person to receive. Now I need to put the email address in. I will show you how you can also do this on the phone as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do, how to send large attachments through your computer and through the phone. We need to put the email address in. And again, you can send these to multiple people. So if you were sending documents to uh, say a uh, construction company and to a legal team, you could do the same thing without sending separate emails, blocking everybody's inbox. And again, every time you send a big email, it sits in your sent items. And if you delete it, it sits in your deleted items until you delete it. So that's why people tend to have trouble with their inboxes and being bloated. So here is the recipient i need to put that in there you need to sign in it's just making sure you're not sending out spam you can attach a message uh, i'm going to send that as test and then press transfer that's it all you've got to do is drag your uh, drag your files across it'll take a moment or two as it starts to transfer from your computer or your phone to their servers and once it's done they will receive an email there end. i'll show you what that looks like in a moment and you'd also receive an email. So that's all, those, those are those files all transferred. If I want to, I can take that link there, copy that link and send it as a WhatsApp or a text as well so they can receive it on their phone. Let's bring in an email, see how that looks. So this is the email I've received from WeTransfer, basically saying, let me, oh, let me download those so you can see it. That's WeTransfer saying I've received an email. Generally, if you've got a free account, they've got three days. I think I've got three days. 
before it will be deleted from the server. So I've got three days to download, download these. And all I've got to do is click that link and it'll download it. The receiver, this is the email they get. Obviously, I've received some uh, some files. Click here to download. So I, I've got that link as well. So if I need to download them again, and that's the email they receive, and they just, obviously, they can see what's attached and stuff like that beforehand. And all I've got to do is click the link and download it. And that's how you would send a large attachment if it's a single attachment or multiples making it a large. So let's sh show you how that works on the mobile. Now, I've recorded how to do it on a mobile and I've sent that image or the video to myself. So I'm going to show you how you can download it. So all you do is click get files and then you've got the option to download. So I'll click download. Whilst it's doing that, if you want to grow your business using all aspects of the internet, don't forget to tap subscribe. I just put this on the desktop for the moment. So if you go to the wetransfer.com, if you've already got an account, great. If you haven't, just uh, tap the create account. If you've got one account, just log in. Again, enter your email and your password. Again, if you're going to be using the service a lot, it's probably worth just storing your password. I do believe they've got an app as well. Now what we want to do is select the files we want to transfer. Again, agree to the terms and conditions. Again, you've got a three gig limit. The benefits of sending it like this, there is other ways if you've got an iPhone to transfer um, uh, photos, but you can send them full fat, so you're not going to lose quality by trying to compress them. So select the photos you want or video. You can make multi-selections as well. And here I'm, I'm going to attach a video. So that's quite a big video in its own right. So that's our selection. Click the add. Or tap the add, I should say. So this is our eight files. Let's give it a title so when they re receive this, they'll know what the email's about. I've got videos on how you can rename your files and both videos and photos as well. Benefits of that, A, the person the other end knows what they're about. And if they're for your website, they can actually help with SEO. So things like image 003 means nothing to nobody. But on the upload, Apple doesn't um, give you the option to change. Can't remember if Android does. You can, again, attach a message or uh, sign a message. Now you've got a choice now. You can either send this as an email so they'll receive the email or you can grab the link and then attach that to or send that link through a text message or WhatsApp or through your own email. Enter the email of the person you're sending it to. If you are finding this video helpful, do give us a thumbs up and share it if you think you know anybody that would benefit from knowing how to send large files without blocking your inbox or their own as well. Let's spell that correctly. So that's 25.6 meg. So that would probably outside the maximum you could send as a single e single email. So they receive the email their end, which is that one I opened. So if you have found this video helpful, don't forget thumbs up, don't forget to tap subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.